Now that we've established that it is completely possible to uh, craft uh, functional electric football bases out of cardboard, um, is it also possible to afford these bases directional control? And that's uh, what I set out to answer tonight with this uh, experimental prototype I've crafted. You may immediately notice that uh, the base is much thicker than uh, the uh, rookie bases I've been crafting. Twice as thick, in fact. Instead of four layers, it's actually eight layers of cardboard. And uh, the reason for that is actually for my own safety, and I'll explain in just a moment. Now, the uh, front prongs are not glued on. They are, in fact, held on by uh, this thumbtack that I've pushed up through the base. That's the reason that it's so thick, to keep it from poking up through the top and, and pricking my finger. But uh, the idea here is that the prong swivels on the thumbtack like so to the left or to the right for some degree of directional control. Uh, does it work? Well, let's swivel the uh, prongs to the left. Sure enough, it loops to the left. Let's uh, swivel the prongs to the right in the same manner. And sure enough, it loops to the right. Can we do that to varying degrees with less of a loop? Yes, we can. Let's try it the other way. Yeah, so in that regard, we have created directional control using a, a, a thumbtack along with cardboard. Um, but now what about straight ahead? Uh, even on an ITZ base, it can be tricky to find neutral and, and get a straight ahead result. We're still kind of drifting to the left, so we're going to have to... There we go. Now... You know, that looks like it should be drifting to the right, doesn't it? And it kind of is. So like I said, this is the fiddly business. Well, just can't find it, can we? Um, it's there, but really precise to find it. Yeah, it's, it's getting there. You know, kind of, sort of, but, you know... What do we observe? Well, it's really slow, and uh, I don't know how much of that has to do with the fact that the batteries are going dead in this uh, in this game. But I, I, you know, the the speed was pretty good in the loop. It's just not very good straight ahead, and I couldn't tell you why. Uh, I think we're on to something. I think we just you know more research and development is needed. I don't think a thumbtack is the answer. I think we need something smaller, maybe not even something sharp that pokes through the, the, the base. Uh, I did try, just for fun, early on, some just stick some poster putty on the uh, prong to see how that worked. It didn't work very well at all. But, you know, it's an idea. And it works okay. I mean, we've got zone coverage bases now, for certain. If we want them. Uh, could we uh, perform a swing route with a running back? That's too deep. It's very nuanced to get the uh, right angle. Yeah, well, almost. If he just turned a little more, we might have had it. I think it's going to be too deep again. Yeah. Yeah. Do these work as well as a dial base? No, not yet. Not yet. That's pretty good, but the fact remains that in theory, yes, you can achieve directional control with cardboard. It's going to take a lot more work to, to unlock that. Um, again, I don't think this is the answer. The uh, you know, technically does work to a point. Uh, I couldn't tell you why we're not achieving any speed. Um, I can uncurl these prongs a little, and that might help just a little. I could probably kick the uh, back prong forward just a little not too much or otherwise it'll go backwards instead of forward but uh well, there you go um i'm probably not going to focus on this too much this might be a this might be an aspect of the uh development that someone more skilled than me is going to have to unlock um right now i'm pretty happy with the rookie bases at least uh, as far as advancing downfield um it's ironic uh up until now, I've sought to eliminate all the looping from the bases I've been crafting tonight. It was all about creating the loop. And, you know, we have achieved that. Uh, I think there's a point where you, 
that's probably too much. It's, yeah, this might not even stand up on its own. Yeah, so you got to find it. And then even now, it might fall over. <laughs> Well, he's doing all right. You just notice it's, it's just not very fast, and uh, I, I really don't know how, other than use a plastic base, that he'd be the answer, actually. Yeah, you're gonna see a lot more falling over, I think, with the prongs, you know, turn that to those extremes. Well, that's pretty good, it's just too slow to, to really, for any practical purpose. And uh, I don't know why, uh, other than it's cardboard. But, you know, we're getting some pretty quick results with cardboard straight downfield. So, again, we're, it's an idea, and it probably has some practical application in future, but I don't think a thumbtack is the answer. It's one way to do it, but uh, people have been asking about that, and I've been curious myself, so, you know, we gave it a shot. Uh, Unfortunately, in the process, I accidentally knocked the uh, face mask off this particular figure. So that's what I'll be doing for the rest of the night. See how quickly plans can change. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for watching this. Uh, uh, any ideas? Any better ideas than this? I'm all ears. Let me know. And I'll talk to you soon.